Hello guys, my name is Sana Khan. Today I'm going to show you how to do soft contouring. This look, it's a very simple daytime look. I have used minimum colors on this, so it's the perfect look to carry for your work. You can catch up with your friends for a daytime brunch too, if you're the kind of person who doesn't like a lot of makeup. She has a very cute round face. She's actually blessed with very good skin, so I'm not gonna do anything on her skin. For the concealer, I'm going to use Bobbi Brown number 3.5 Warm Beige. The foundation I'm going to use is the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Foundation Warm Beige. Setting powder is also Bobbi Brown, it's called Light. As you can see, the base is already done. A very soft, natural base. All we're going to do is soft contouring on her face, only on the parts that are required. Just a little bit of contouring on her nose. An eye makeup, which is very day color, a little mascara, eyeliner and a very natural lipstick. I'm going to start with her eyebrow filling. Just brush her eyebrows a little bit so that we get the exact shape. I'm using number 61 Saddle from my favorite brand Bobbi Brown. And all I'm doing is I'm just filling in the empty spaces that you see. For eyebrows that are well defined like hers, we don't really need to, you know, shape them or anything. You just have to add hint of color in the empty spaces and the eyebrows are already well defined. Contour Kit NYX. A very soft line on her nose which we're going to blend later. Try not to be very hard or very harsh on the brush because we are just going to do soft contouring on her. I've just added a little brown to contour uh, color on her cheeks just to enhance them. So I'm blending now. As we want to go soft on the contour, we'll blend as much as possible. We just want to give us a bit of high cheekbones. So we're just blending the contour. We need to make sure that it's not too dark. Since now we are doing a day look, I'm emphasizing on the blending more so that it looks soft contour, which is the idea that we want. So we are done with her contour. Now we highlight after the contour. Very less color, as minimum as possible. So I'm just going to add a little bit of blush. It's a very natural pink for the daytime. Blend the blusher. So any shine is a strict no-no. Eyeshadow from Naked 3 palette, Urban Decay in the shade of light pink. It's almost the color of her eyelids, just a tad darker than them. We highlight with a matte highlighter. We do not need shine because it's a day look. We're going to use something brown on her. It's a brown pencil. Don't try to wing it much. We blend it from the lash line. We are not doing a very defined eyeliner. So make sure it looks like a very smudged kind of a look. I'm doing her mascara. She already has a good volume. So I'm basically just trying to curl it so that she gets the required volume and the curl. If you see, I've used pink tones on her. So if I've used like a light pink uh, blusher on her, I've used a light pink or a natural color of eyeshadow. And now I'm finishing it with a lip color, which is also in the same family of pink. But I prefer it to keep it natural. As you can see, it's a very natural look for the daytime with some soft contouring. 